So you like the Slane Castle Red Hot Chili Peppers intro? Let's do it. <laughs> So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to get the John Frusciante intro from the Slane Castle. You could use a helix. You could use actual pedals. I'm going to show you in both ways which way you could do it. I'm only going to use the helix, but I'm going to show you how you could use If you have actual pedals, just some cheap pedals, you can get the tone of Slane Castle. So when we look at this signal path, we're just going to simply look at the amp that I have set up. And we're going to look at the DS2. And we're going to look at the fuzz that I've got set up. So firstly, the amp, if you're using a real amp, you want to set the drive to about two to four and maybe your your post gain you know just to set it accordingly to the room that you're in it you can crank it up as loud as you want or turn it down as low as you want but you need some of that pre-gain grit and that's what i have set up here with the brick plexi bright i have a, a video on setting up just this pedal by itself but we're not going to go in depth on it today so here's the second page the third page uh, i've got the 4x12 1960a t75 uh, cab and uh, it's important to get this high cut turned down to about 1.6 so it's not really trebly and awful sounding the way the Helix is. Now, we have got our fuzz first in the chain. So on the Helix, we've got the DS1 mod. If you combine that, the DS1 and this 10 band graphic EQ set to be one switch. I'm going to A, B, and C on together, and you're going to see what it does when you put both or all three of them on together. this has helped you get that John Frusciante Slane Castle intro, all you really need is a fuzz in the Boss DS2. Turbo Distortion! Please like and subscribe. I hope to see you guys in the next one.